Hey, good morning, Andy. Good. <laughs> good afternoon. Good morning. Yeah, Andy, that's right. That's <laughs> right. Sorry about that. No, good day. not at all. Yes, good day is perfectly I know, appropriate. I should know by now. <laughs> oh, it's all right. I'm just uh, uh, bemoaning the loss of a day, you know, just just one yeah. of those. Um, I'm all too familiar with that recently. <laughs> Hi, Alex. I think we're going to get John today. Uh, John has, um, he was vaccinated, which is a good yeah, thing. he told me. Yeah. But he's taken a bit of a knock from it. So well, uh, I, I messaged him an hour ago about oh it great just, like I'll, I'll 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 run today if if he can't make it but he said he could make it he said he'd be fine that's far more recent Maybe. information than I had then oh, okay hopefully hopefully you can show yeah, I was finally able to get my first shot on Tuesday awesome whereabouts I live in California so um. I had, I did I volunteered to get it though. You can it, I'm not officially able to get it for another actually yesterday they opened it up to everybody. So in the UK we're right now um ages 45 and above. Not to oh, throw wow. John under the bus cuz of course <laughs> fresh and youthful. Yes, yes, he's clearly 25. Um <laughs> <If a day. laughs> that's crazy okay so it's not yeah. even open to everybody in the uk i don't know why because we always hear about how advanced you guys were with with rollout i figured it's you been were... graded going down from so that all um all high vulnerability high vulnerability that's not a threat yeah. assessment um all highly vulnerable people um have been vaccinated ages 18 wow. and above um and then they just worked it down care home workers public i say public servants public facing well oh, that's 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 good. It's I'm just surprised that they they aren't exposed to everybody now. We're having demand issues here. I mean, there's a huge swaths of the population who don't want to get it. So one of my, so we've got a ninety percent vaccine uptake rate, which is insane. That's super high. And yeah. um, I don't know. W one of my friends on um, um, well, I, I, a guy called Eric Johnson at Sands who uh, is in Iowa said. Oh, I basically had no visibility of this when I was talking to him about this the other day. But we've had this max, like almost a vaccine war going on with like UK, European Union. Yeah. And it's just been so un uncouth, I think is a gentle way of putting it. Right. Well, the US will very soon have a lot to just give out. Yeah. Here, take it. Nobody wants it here. <laughs> uh, a third uh, at the place I was volunteering on Tuesday, a third of people didn't show because of the news around Johnson & Johnson. So there's going to be a lot of people who are turned off. I mean, just it, it feels a little bit misleading because statistically, it's such a it's a rounding error. But I, you know, I appreciate the danger of giving it to everybody. But yeah, that is nuts. All right, maybe we won't get John after all. We should just probably plow into this. Or Emily. Emily would be another person who'd be useful. I think ultimately at this point, oh, there's Emily. Look, I, I summoned. I, I invoked. <laughs> Hi, Emily. I heard my name being called across <laughs> the world. That's that's how Zoom works now. It's a new feature. <laughs> Just call out yeah, the I'm people. Not, I'm not surprised. How's it going? Yeah. It's been a week. <laughs> Alex is like, everything's great. <laughs> <laughs> uh I, I don't think we're, right. maybe, maybe we won't get john should we start should we go through the the comments today emily how many how many weeks of of open comment do we get for this piece we only get two um okay. so next week i think is when it's supposed to be closed down locked down from any further comments um so let's go through <sighs> The ones that we have outstanding that kind of need a, a group decision. Does somebody want to drive that? Yes, I, 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 I can. I can. I can. I can. I can. Okay. Cool. One moment to make this look professional. All right. Sharing screen. software supply all right can you all see yep we're good i'd like to try to Great. like 
make decisions relatively quick on some of these things. That way we can get through them all because I've got to get off in like 30 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Um, do we just want to go from the top down? Is there any particular, I know, I know Cole brought up the whole, um, there's a new commenter two days ago who had a bunch of controversial stuff. Um, but if people don't respond, for instance, I, you know, uh, Alex here uh, brought up the whole like conflating of zero trust. I'm not personally, I, I don't, I don't want to, I don't think this is a decent suggestion. It's my thing here. Can I just end it? Let's not use zero trust in another. I don't think it adds anything. I don't think we need to coin another term. Can I just check? Yeah, it, it's not zero trust at all by common Boom. accepted definitions. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, Alex. Uh, all right. It is worth calling this the precinct principle. Lisa. I'm looking for headings to put in my back pocket, and I'm translating it as. Oh boy, he's branding our our paper, and he's starting like six startups there. I think the point it's we want like to get buzzword bingo. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get names to things. Uh, I think the point we want to get across for trust, we need data that can be as. Yeah, let's just uh, no. Let's not call it anything. Is that resolve that okay? it and move on? Yep. Boom. Okay, sorry, uh, Emily. What about this? This other document needs to be restructured. Um, that's an action item after. Okay, I'll hold on to that. Uh, what do you think about this? I I keep seeing it. I think it's a it's a add references to hardening techniques. Was this done? Is it in the appendix? Let's look. Let's go to the appendix. Um, let's see. Prior appendix containers, no, base container images. It does not look like it. Um, I will make a comment and reach out to Mike. Okay. That needs to be resolved or we have to remove the sentence. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Resolved by next week, I guess. Seven days. Yep. If it's not resolved by then, delete the sentence. Oh, also, just real quick ping him on Slack because I feel like that. I I hate these uh, announcements. My God, it's fine. Hey, Mike. Just curious. All right. Cool. Um, next. Alex, looks like, <laughs> uh, okay, uh, person identifying, oh yeah, okay, so, uh, <laughs> this was just in response to that comment about avoiding I guess, the acronym. I guess we can if we, go with if we, PII. Yeah, I feel like most people in our world probably know what PII, PHI stand for, but if we wanted to make sure we included the explanation, I just put it in there. So, yep, include the explanation. Right. If we reuse the abbreviation later throughout the document, we have to first introduce it. I don't believe we do. Uh, should I message him? It looks like it's further down, like next page. Yeah, it's it's yeah. like in the okay. top of the next page there, yeah. Great. Awesome. Thanks, Alex, for handling that. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay. These are the these are the meaty ones. Alex, what do you got here? Um. And so he wanted they... to potentially split this between agent authentication versus human user authentication, and I I was just saying I think in the introduction I'm not sure. Yeah. We're talking it's at a summary high level. I'm not sure matters that much at this point in the pair in the document but you know whatever we want to do I, I wonder if the substance of this argument is that software entities should be required to mutually authenticate that is not necessarily i mean mm, yeah, i there are authentication mechanisms like other than mtls right so 
I think we should keep it high level. If we are going yeah. to do too much with the user authentication service, authentication secure, or then you know we have to do a lot. Of yeah. 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 I I I actually agree with your point here, and that and that's I'm 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 good with that. I I think this is. Should I put a comment? Is it easier to do a quick rewrite and simply state that mutual authentication of identities should occur before interacting at any stage? That way we're not being explicit on user or software as uh, independent entity objects. So just take out, let me just make sure so, I know what you mean. Go ahead, yeah, I think we yeah. use secure authentication that it's not just limited to mutual authentication, I believe. We want to avoid a weak authentication, right? So there are several weak authentications uh, in mm -hmm. a both user and service authentication spectrum. I mean, MTLS is a kind of a secure authentication, but it's not necessarily the best authentication mechanism out there, right? So, what do you think about the wording "strong" strongly authenticate their identities, <laughs> and then it's just lost? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I. Is is the? I don't think I don't think anybody's. I, unless we were gonna go deep into what mutual authentication means later, I don't think it matters that much. We yeah, could just say authenticate. Yeah. Well, so so the reason why I I'm I want to stick mutual authentication in is because there are still a lot of organizations that have like they do authentication, but they do not do mutual authentication. Sure. Yeah. And if we don't call that out as mutual authentication being and being encompassed within a secure authentication practice, they're going to continue to get away with it. Yeah. I mean, they are anyways, unless they read the paper. But if there's a way that we can just slightly <laughs> tweak that <laughs> to so, include uh, mutual. Emily, the, the following authentications we are discussing later, right? So one is a SSH and another is a token-based authentication. So they don't have to mutually authenticate. That is a challenge that like a client don't have to authenticate the server there or in you know, most of the case server is authenticating the client only. So th that will be the challenge we might have. Like if you will put a you know, mutual authentication, the following authentications, you know, we may have to rewrite those things, right? So that's my thought. I, I, is SSH it, is the idea of mutual SSH authentication the acceptance of the the, the ID the the auth um, the, fin the the fingerprint of the server you're connecting to, and is is using TLS to authenticate with a token, saying that we've authenticated the server because the, we verified the TLS certificate. Is that the level we're thinking, Emily? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. Yeah. So that TLS itself don't have to be MTLS, right? So it can be one way TLS and but uh, if it's one way TLS the client is authenticating but they're also right. verifying the certificate of the server I guess we're yeah. in the weeds straight away here but I'm just I don't quite understand well also oh, go ahead Emily I, I was going to say I want to avoid any presumption that one way TLS is acceptable there are occasions where it is but there are a lot of instances especially in the supply chain where having two-way TLS is critical. And I'm not sure the best way to present those exceptions early on. Right, because this is, let's, like this particular paragraph is, is still our introduction. It's pretty, we're not getting too much into the weeds here. Right. I think we can keep it, in my opinion, we can keep it like that, but uh, you know, it's an it's an interesting area if you want to explain and um, you know some of the authentication mechanisms we are. Yeah, that. Later. Would it be easier to add a footnote to the end of that sentence and say, "This is for the discussed for different mm. areas later th through the paper." I think the thing that just made it clear for me, Emily, is when you said specifically in the supply chain, and then I've looked at the sentence, and it has. The final clause being the supply chain. Maybe if we just refactor it, for any stage of the supply chain, users and software entities should be required to mutually authenticate. <laughs> just move this. It's just up changing. Here. The, yeah, it's just changing the object I, well, of the sentence. Oh, well, I, I, reframing it. 
I, I get your all's issues. I don't think it matters. I don't, I don't think we're addressing Justin's comment at all because Justin really doesn't care about about the mutual aspect. And go ahead, yeah, go, please go ahead and uh, make the change. He really just cares about the fact that we're 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 using the term user and software entities as if it's the same. Yeah. Which I would just go the, the cheat route and just take out user and software and just say entities. Uh, but. Uh, I also I kind of agree with you, Alex. That uh, in an introduction, who cares? We're not like I, I. Unfortunately, Cole's. I think it would be more confusing, in fact, to go to split it out into user authentication versus workload attestation. If anything, I would be like, why here? <laughs> Let's do this later. Well, and I think we we do make those distinctions pretty clearly in a lot of the recommendations right. later in the paper. So I don't know that it's worth muddying the waters in the introduction. I'm I'm 100% with you. For interacting with any system, you should mutually authenticate their identity prior to interaction. Sounds good. That's a that's a politically. <laughs> I should have probably commented on that. Just said nope. I think you can get it. Back. Uh, I was going to say you can get it back with that button next to share. It's not gone forever. Does that work with the footnote and the rewrite? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's accept them and resolve and move on. Beautiful. Accept. Resolved. We moved on. Okay. Cool. Let's keep going. Another Justin Cormack. I think it is a good idea to add something about verifying the signatures. Verifying the signatures. Currently, a lot more people sign Git commits than actually have any verification workflow. And while that has some benefits in forensic situations, it doesn't. That's, that's a footnote. Later on, I wrote it. It's about um, merging. Where do you um, have that footnote? Oh, Crap, now I'm to to oh, right here, right here, right here. One. Yes, yeah. it's there. Okay, I'm just going to say addressed in footnote 17. Is it 17? Uh, it, yeah. That's what it is, yeah. So it, can we link back to that uh, footnote 17 here just to make it a little bit more explicit? Sure. Is it going to mess with things that we're we're doing the actual foot in the declaration later? Is that uh, okay. well? We can add a footnote and copy and paste the same thing twice. Ah, uh, genius! All right. Um, and then do you want it at the end of the the page, or do we want? I'll it do it. You do it. You, yeah, I'm, I don't. I don't want to do these footnote things. That way, you guys um, can move on. But I'm going to go ahead and end this. I think adding the footnote more than helps. Sound good? Done. Okay. This may need an addition. This is old. This is not from the review period, but that we can not. probably clear it out. What do you, uh, yeah, just clear it out, Alex? Added, so just it just needs you. resolved. Uh, yeah. Done. Perfect. 16. Okay, so are we also going to keep 18? Yeah, it's relevant. We'll just keep it twice. Okay, great. Um, I think we should... Uh... Change that sentence to the next page, right? Can you scroll up? Just um, Richard, where? Yeah, where, where, where to? Uh, I oh, matter, that's a that the heading is one page and content is another page, right? So wait. I'm uh, sorry. Scroll down. That. Scroll down. So slowly, yeah. The I think the automated software security scanning and testing. The heading is in one page. The, the the footer if you're just above the footer no, scroll oh that's just oh the layout. you're talking about here yeah yeah that gets fixed it gets fixed okay. uh, yep. but not yeah you can't really do anything about it unfortunately 
It's Google Docs at their finest. Yeah. Um, okay. We have this meaty that was just recently reopened three days ago. Okay. So it was resolved. Wow. He, he did not like that. I didn't read it that way. No need to reopen. <laughs> okay. Closing again. Uh, there were suggested changes. Are we accepting them? Uh, from from him? Uh, no, for this one right here. Because ah. they were linked. Oh, I thought this had to do with the Justin Cormack piece. Maybe. Well, let's just accept them. Okay. Yeah, I'm good with... I, I, I saw this. Beautiful. I wonder if I, I was going to say signed hash, but no, that's tautology. Sorry, carry on. All right. Some security. I think it can be uh, just read the last one. Uh, yeah. Just read the last one. We had a discussion on this. Yeah. Please propose language to the document. Should we wait for Robert to get back? Yeah, I think we are waiting on Robert. How do you? Uh, if someone. Three days ago. Can... If someone can ping Robert to get the adjusted language. Um, is, he, is he in here on Slack? I don't know. He authenticated with the Google Doc. So if you assign it to him. Yeah, he's here on Slack. I'll, I'll okay, just... cool. If he doesn't fix it, we're deleting the comment. Wait, is that, is it fixed? No. Stand by. There's the text is red. Who just put that? Yeah, that's addressing his comment, I believe. Oh, okay. Well, so it's from somebody else. Exactly. The sold one, right? So he agree. Alex. So it looks like this is still outstanding. I think Robert is outstanding, but Alex, I think he's okay to. Uh, he accept explanation, I believe. But Cole has what? What is this? Hold on, I need to read this. Mm -hmm. I'm 100% with the call on that, that statement. I wonder if that flies in the face of uh, the GitHub tokens, as somebody calls out in the in the next section. Because I think that's exactly what um, Alexander Barbado says in the comments mm. below. Actually, it, it's the implication that it's an admittedly less secure option to frequently rotate access tokens. I, I think less secure is loaded because that's comparing TLS to SSH. They both share some of the same ciphers anyway. And, uh, and the access token can be scoped differently. So I think it's so so complex and people can argue from both sides, maybe a, another option. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, admittedly less secured is the passive aggressive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Well, Neanderthals used to use <laughs> frequently rotated access tokens. Um, option of varying, <laughs> contested option of varying security concern is frequently rotated access. <laughs> we sound so, uh, that's such a euphemism. Uh, it addresses it and we're calling out that we know that there are politics in that. Sure. 
It's like Emacs versus Vim. Yeah. Yep. I'm okay with this. I, I think this is great. It's important to note the problem with tokens. Secret wires, distribution of secrets, exposing. Uh, exposing credentials to uh, in the middle of attacks. Out of band, I believe, is hyphenated. Maybe. Now we have to check on that. I think as soon as Andy finishes his edits, we accept them all and move on. Yeah, all this green and red is Christmas over here. Yeah, right. <laughs> so there's another mild contention here. Tokens should only be used if they're short-lived and issued out of band. Again, those GitHub personal access tokens yeah, no, not short lived. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we are addressing that in the next section where uh, use of short lived uh, credentials. So we what call out the particular personal access token usage. Yeah. Do you, do you think this wording should only be used, um, should stay or should change, Vinod? I think the man, um, I think man in the Middle East is one of the main attacks, right? So I think. Yeah, <laughs> potentially is um, exposed to many other attacks, right? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I added tokens in this context should only be used if they are short-lived. So we're specifically talking about this area and not discussing them later <laughs> on. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Two items down, we do have, I think Vinod was just saying, we have another recommendation that touches on this. I'm wondering if we need this paragraph here or if we're- Yeah, that is the gist of this accent or that paragraph, you short-lived ephemeral credentials. Oh, it's so close. You're 100% right. <laughs> More details in just 20 seconds of reading. <laughs> Don't... Sound good? Looks great. Yep. All right. Accept all the things. Oh, man. Uh, uh, Going to need to get OSHA in here for all this clicking. I'll get an injury. Uh, choop, choop, choop. And then that. There, environments where. And we that like his, his, his statement there. Yep. It should resolve both of those comments. Just mark okay. them resolved. Done. If Cole gets upset, he can come back and comment again. Uh oh. Vendors should be required. Not a reasonable ask at present for moderate risk categories. Um, I thought uh, John did this. John, yeah, John split this out. So this is actually it's done, that's yeah. done. Yeah. Fun. Bye bye. I do wonder about that one. Um, J Justin is uh, one of our, one of the two sign-off people on this. Okay. And um, and he's, uh, I mean, j just in case people don't know him, uh, he's the CTO of Docker, and I <laughs> probably has a reasonable view on this. I I don't know how we can actually enforce vendors to to do this and. Uh, yeah. Enforcing vendors to do something is not currently our problem. Yeah. <laughs> and, and Justin's also our talk liaison, so he's going to re review it again and double check on his commentary. And if something's an issue, I'm sure I will hear about it. <laughs> but, but I mean, is it wrong, though, Andy, to say that in high security, high risk in categories, you would require your vendors to provide you that SBOM? It's it's laudable, but only like, platform <laughs> one has the has the sure. ability to do that. Maybe no, no. You can just, always yeah. ask, and they can say no. <laughs> yeah, and you can because say no to them. They're already doing that. <laughs> so they are asking their vendors to provide SPOM or provide discount for the risk, and the uh, U.S. government is bringing up the you know the law, so bill. So I think it's yeah, get more common yeah. in future. Like everyone should provide. Cool. Maybe more comments soon. More Justin comments. Uh, Alex, we have this whole section. Right. Uh, I think this is going to be, as soon as we update this graphic or do whatever we're going to do here, that's just going to all disappear. So I don't know that we need to spend a lot of time on it. Wait, 
What? What? What's wrong with I was the graphic? Say, uh, there's there's no commentary <laughs> about something being wrong. <laughs> It's not the graphic. Not something wrong with the graphic. We wanted to create a new graphic that illustrates or that eliminates this paragraph here. Yeah. Oh. We like the graphic. We like the graphic. <laughs> Why didn't anybody tell me you wanted graphic. another one? <laughs> so what is the ask? Nope. Uh, so at the moxiefox at work at gmail.com. Yeah, that's so annoying that it pulls your your personal contacts rather than all the people who've been part of this document. Sorry. Um, I will. Uh, yeah, that's also not working. Ugh. Fox, F-O-X. At uh, work. At work. Eighth, at gmail.com. Gmail .com, like that? Yep. Add people to this discussion. Send them an email. All right. Let's do that. Let's see if that works. There you go. Yay. <sighs> So you want a um, you want a graphic to replace all that text? Yeah, I thought that's what the above one was supposed to be. Well, let's just, let's you have it's been build tools. You have the workers. The pipeline orchestrator is there. The build infrastructure, the source code repository, artifact repository, and the signing infrastructure. I mean, it's a pretty big graphic that is shrunk down to be tiny. Right, right. Do they need labeled? That might be it, because I think the problem is, is this list here. I think we agreed that, th which you can't label it, right? There's no way you'd have text the right size to do that. I guess you could you could put little numbers and then we could have a- You'd uh, be surprised. Uh, I'll figure it out. I mean, but the, the, the key thing here, I think we discussed that like listing this just looked yeah. Um. It just yeah. It felt like well, why is the graphic even there if people have to read this these two paragraphs and and see all these these pieces here? Also, okay. it's not clear at all how they communicate with each other. It's just a list. I we could add anything to it. So I will um I will work on grouping or making identifying groups for each of the things. Alex, it just that might not be today. Yeah, uh, I, think, I mean, I think that solves it. Um, and we then appreciate that all everything. Commentary there will disappear. Yep. Yeah, we won't need this. Okay, I need to jump off. You all are doing great. Keep up the good work. Be aggressive. Thanks. Got that vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Have a good day. Thanks a bunch. Adios. Uh, all right. This so is old. The, uh, yeah, the, is... The, this section caused me some uh, sort of contact, uh, sort of cognitive dissonance because it's really focused on loading into VMs. <sighs> and what this whole comment breaks down into is VMs versus containers. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. My instinct would actually be to defocus on VMs a bit, but there is this annoying middle ground where people want to refresh the whole build environment and have VM-based infrastructure with containers in. So that's as far as I got. Yeah. Um, to Blake's main concern here, his issue was mostly the fact that we're we're conflating that images or stages and workers context. Um, the, the wording of this document is such that each stage is discarded. Or, well, each worker has a single stage mm -hmm. and, and that one-to-one -one then discarding relationship. It's practically, it's untrue, frankly, it's, um, it just it costs a lot, doesn't it? And shipping data and compute. So sure. I didn't yeah, perhaps I should have weighed in earlier. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I think we're we're putting it out there though as the ideal, Andy. Like that's mm -hmm. the whole that's the whole yeah, clearly in practice not easy to do, not likely to, to happen, but uh the idea is that this is what we'd recommend for the most secure of environments, right? 
Um, here we go. Let's if we're not going to aggressively answer this one, I do kind of want to bring Blake back into this. Um, let me go ahead and message him just real quick. Uh, and then let's move on to the next Robert Van Voorhees. Ah, uh, yeah. What do you, uh, I yet again brought him up here. Do we really need to expand on open S cap? It's pretty old school and standard. I just, I just, we don't, we don't do that for any of the other tools, really. We don't go into what GitLab is. We don't, you know, um, why would we do it for some tools and not others? The idea was that yeah. this is a tool that, that satisfies the need. Here it is. Here's, here's the name of it. So do you think, should I, I, should I give him a couple more days? <laughs> it's been four days. He's gotten the email. I think we, st- we, we do it aggressively. I, Done. I agree. We haven't expounded other things. Yeah, we don't. I don't see us needing. All right. Justin, citation needed. Uh, he thinks it's Wikipedia. <laughs> uh, I don't think there is. So there is some um, evidence of this in, um, in platform one again, in, in the Iron Bank containers. Um, I, I can, I'll respond to him there. Okay, if you could. I, I wrote the section, yeah. All right, pinged Blake. Thanks for handling that one, Andy. Let's keep going. Oh, whole swaths of the document without any. Um, this is also old. This is rather old. Yeah, this is now two weeks old. I think this needs to clarify. Are we talking about pinning? Should we change the heading? Uh, I feel like I remember us in a working session actually working on exactly this issue. So I'm not sure if we still had work to do or if we can just clear it out. It's not feasible if that version recording hashes over any remote data for verification during the build process should be done pinning specific versions. It's right there. I don't think we need to update the, I don't think we need to change the heading. I think that that's, that's ridiculous. Uh, updated vital bugs, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I, I, I'm, does anybody else think we don't address pinning? I think it's good good done sorry cole i don't think we need to update the heading it doesn't make any sense uh it is important to use tools like the pentabot or nfa bot to track and update the nfa versions yeah what's up with this but on Sorry, uh, you can close it. Uh, sorry, I had to jump out. Yeah. Hey, good news, everybody. Blake says we can just approve everything. Thanks, Blake. <laughs> cool. Awesome, Vinod. That sounds aggressive. <laughs> All right, we're back to Justin Cormack. Um, I don't like this term. Oh, I'm kind of with them. Functionaries. What does that mean? Um, uh, at least waiting for Justin's feedback for an automated process, right? So, yeah. Listen. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of with Justin. The automated processes, though, definitely puts in context. Um, I, I think function is, is unique to Intoto and frankly causes people, I keep on saying cognitive dissonance. Can we, dissonance. Just, Can we yeah. just say signed by authorized entities or something along that line and replace yeah. that whole... Yeah, the, the magical entity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Just uh, Should I just replace this? And an entity can be either a human or an automated process. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. I, I, authorized entities just just solves it. I think. Yeah, function so really just... languishes. I, uh, yeah, I don't like it much in the total either. I did just entities. Look at that. I'm kind of with Justin on that. That uh, John Menos Mike ends order update. I already went to Mike. Um, I'm going to keep that in there because it is supposed to be a placeholder. <sighs> Emily thinks that needs to be expanded as of nearly the February 17th. I'm not sure if it's yeah. been expanded or not. That's true. We don't know. Um, many of the core concepts of supply chain security can be applied to supply chain consumers as well as the core producers. Uh, that I think that is expanded here, right? We go through. Yeah, each. I think it might be. Security can be applied to the supply chain. Check it. Hmm. I like the the word nuanced. All right. Um, I think that's that. Oh, damn. Um, I have barely looked at the, this is the, this is our. This has become uh, a little bit of a, a vendor shoot off, hasn't it? Oh, uh, really? Yeah. I didn't well, it, you can just, it, it didn't look like this when it began and uh, perhaps unsurprising, I think unavoidable. Yeah. Minimum we are doing for them, right? Like we don't allow the vendor to be in the front pages so true yeah yeah it's also isn't it also a snapshot in time yeah. good point yeah i mean uh, um they're not actually aligned though i notice yeah to yeah. be honest it's so complicated some vendors have multiple things and they, they won't necessarily fit in one category so Oh yeah, I, I feel like the formatting, if that's what you're worried about, uh, and it, th mm. this needs to all be done differently. I will reject myself. Uh, I mean, just in general, somebody get some fancier tables here. Um, but should we assign somebody to do to 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 look at this and make sure it's consistent and makes sense? I. I did add some of them, but I, I, I will also check a double check again. I'm not sure if they are the original links. Or Who would, how do how does the CNCF do this so that it doesn't end up being? Oh man, it's going to need review, isn't it? Because are they going to allow? Well, they have to, I need, suppose. Are we going to need to form a committee? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Urgent committee formation. Yeah. <laughs> uh all right i mean and I, i'm gonna i'm gonna ignore these for now uh who would own who would I own the whole part about open source tools i can't i, uh, I, so I can help yeah. yeah i will help andy then so andy's the primary person <laughs> <laughs> right. well, well played sir andy and Fernand. Uh, uh yet again uh, what is the, how would I actually? I guess this is a, a landscape review. Oh, yeah, yeah. fine. Sorry, and I the, didn't realize. What the word is. Landscape uh, is a bit controversial. <laughs> mostly, yeah. mostly, I just want to know what your email address is. Oh, um, just at Sublimino. S U B L. Sublimino. Uh, okay, that's no good. At Gmail. Uh, uh, obviously, the... that's not worked here, though, has it? Who am I? Oh yeah, 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 no, no. But is that how it's yes? Spelled? Yeah. Okay, as long as it's spelled. And then Vinod, uh, oh, do you want me to just do uh, Vinod? Sorry, Vinod at what? Oasp dot org. Ah, okay, you're just Vinod at Oasp dot org. Yeah. Trick. Lucky. Yeah. Tr lucky. All right, let's do this comment. Cool. Okay. Um, I feel like this is this is solid we went through all the major comments about the actual meat and potatoes um emily's got a little bit of work on the 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 actual uh document and then definitely something for what we just discussed here uh does anybody else have anything to bring up or do we get 15 minutes back in our friday i wonder because i've been scant in attendance 
what is the expectation of this group? And frankly, um, what can I pick up? Because I haven't picked up a number of things over the past few weeks. So, uh, like I said, right now, it's still another week of comment. Um, I think, Andy, uh, for your sake, anybody who you can get this in front of to give us more feedback, I am still... Personally, I'm surprised nobody's called out any of the recommendations as off or, you mm -hmm. know, I, I, I like that Justin. Justin's really the first. And I mean, I guess there were a couple of others uh, who, who gave kind of subjective comments. Uh, but I think we should look more for that at this point rather than the whole, you know, you didn't explain this enough or you didn't. I would love to see, does this actually make sense? Are these consumable ideas are these mm. are like could you could you take them um yeah you know. yeah it's better to address them before publishing otherwise uh, there will be twitter warfare and you know <laughs> I, I i really do feel like with the way i we should think about this is like uh for some of us it's ironic because it, it very well could be your boss is working on this uh but <laughs> imagine that your boss stumbles upon this white paper reads it and is like you know, sends it to you and says, go do this at our, at your company. Like how many, how many, what the fucks that will never happen here would you have? Yeah. That's my, kind of, my kind of thinking on this whole idea is like, I, we should probably have that conversation. What the fucks um, per paragraph. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, 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 I'll be honest for a lot of this, uh, you know, we all know what the reality of, of working somewhere that isn't even close to this transition looks like how do you how do you make that incremental step based upon that and and i do think that there needs to be a secondary piece of work i think the That's a strong point that, that light. yeah a, a blog post or something that that condenses and and makes a recommendation an, an adoption guide ultimately yeah zero to something <laughs> so, sorry Vinod? That sort of what Italy had in mind in that uh comment that's way up at the top there's there's some link that she has to another document and i think that was intended to be the starting of a uh either an implementation mm -hmm. guide or series of blog posts or something um, this one yeah um oh, i don't know yes. that anyone's really done anything with it since she started it but i think that's what it was meant to be oh it's my uh, favorite it's a, just a bulleted list uh, <laughs> cool uh <laughs> I, I love it. The fox says. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, I do. I, I'm, I should review this because this is this is how I'd want to ingest it. I know I'm, mm -hmm. I'm lazy. I don't like words. Um, <laughs> so, OK. Um, but yeah, other than that, Andy and, and Alex, I mean, uh, do you see anything that we need to put our effort to? Thankfully, I can't draw, so I can't do that graphic. <laughs> uh, uh, I mean, I, I think just getting a bigger audience is the is the way that we're going to make sure that we were on the right track here. But otherwise, it is it. it, it uh, this might be some self-aggrandizing, but it reads <laughs> well now. Um, I think it reads well. The I, I do like our format for how we do the recommendations. I think it's easy to read. Um, you know, I know that there's a whole scrubbing aspect when they get to formatting uh, and they make it more appealing, but I mean, this is, this is, it's solid. I think maybe it's also good to share the link with the people who has a bit controversial opinions or uh, thoughts against the technology, like, uh, so we can capture them early, then it like, uh, so. Yeah. I, I have a bunch of crusty DevOps people that I sent it to uh, after asking Emily. So I'm 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 ready to get get it torn apart. That's kind of my my goal right now. But yeah, I mean, Vinod, yeah, I did also oh ask guys, even though they don't agree with the, most of the things what we are saying. But you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I guess Andy, it's four fifteen. You can have a beer. Oh uh, yes, yes, uh, it's. It's a local brewery, so it hasn't traveled far. I'm thinking of the planets at all times. <laughs> Good. All yeah, right. I mean, this week. So I apologize because I've stolen the 15 minutes from everybody. Um, the last thing I wonder is um, uh, I would have by default sent this to, to Maya at GitHub, but she is no longer there. Has this gone into anybody at Microsoft or GitHub who will have opinions? 
I guess if they're on the CNCF mailing list. <laughs> oh, that's true. It went to the technical oversight committee, didn't it? It hit that yeah, yeah. as well. Maybe that's one for John. I'm sure he's got machinations and has yeah, delivered John it to the already shared with the, some open up stuff guys also like um, perfect. Microsoft. Yeah. It is. I do. I do. I am surprised at how few comments we've gotten on that though. Yeah, though it's a monster. You know, it's it's a huge document. Yeah, I think it's potentially pages. overwhelming. Yeah. That's why I told people I was like, even if you just pick one section, just pick a section. I don't care. Just pick a section and don't do it. any more than that. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna oh, be you're to all day. Sorry. Yeah. I, and 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 is that like a is that maybe something? I mean, yet again, that could be something the blog post tackles. Uh, but. I, I, I too kind of see the same thing, Andy, where I'd be like, if somebody gave me 52 pages, I, yeah. I'd, I'd probably also be like, well, I better really care about software supply chains. Mm -hmm. because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm not reading 52 pages of this on my own, but that's a, that's why maybe a condensed recommendation list would be good. Um, and even then for, for the CNCF, maybe there needs to be a stronger please you know, spend some time reading this and figuring it out. But should we, um, I know it went out on the mailing list. Should we just drop the link into some Slack channels yes. and see if that yeah. gathers some other people? I, I, I wonder if, that today. I, I wonder if it's part of that presentation, we can say uh, we're looking for reviews on the build chain, the recommendations, code site, and maybe people will just focus into a part that piques their interest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, that would be, that'd be, just picking, hey, you know, uh, every single developer could learn something from reading the securing the source code. I mean, I, that's that's the one I'm going to go with in terms of being like, hey, here you go. Um, don't worry about the securing materials piece. But the, yeah, I, I, I think that's the way to do it. Make it more approachable. It also sounds less like, uh, you know, if you say tell people to just read it. Uh, that's not actionable or really interesting. Read this whole document, uh, you know, but if you say, hey, can you tell me whether or not you agree about the recommendations for securing source code or securing materials, that's much more actionable and much more like, okay, mm -hmm. get on the but reader okay. a little bit more. Send nice. a hyperlink to that session as well. <laughs> to yeah, that. Anybody, anybody who wants to uh, to share, I, I did reach out to Emily to make sure that was okay. It's not internal at all, so cool. We'll try to do that, Andy. Maybe, maybe a certain uh, employer. Uh, we can we can put it in front of people from that that employer. <laughs> See if they have, they have time on Fridays to do it. Yeah, right. So. Um, yeah, I, I'll. Uh, yes, yes, of course. Cool. Awesome. Well, with that look seven minutes. Seven minutes back in your life. Excellent. <laughs> Much appreciated. Thanks, yeah. thanks Alex. Thanks, Vinod. Thanks, Andy. Have, have a good rest of your day. Have a great weekend. Cheers. Have a great weekend yourselves. Thanks. Bye. Take care.